Know how speak my tongue? Yes, better than you, or so it would seem. I would like to learn more about you. I as well. Shall we rendezvous? Let's meet at 6.30 when I leave. Outside of gate four. Lily, run on name is Delily. Mine's Aurel. I am pleased to make your acquaintance. Likewise. I brought some fries for you. Thank you. Ooh, it's hot, but good. How were you ever able to learn my language so well? My school teacher was extremely good, Mrs. Michelle. And then I had a wonderful encounter with the Countess. Who was she? She was the wife of an ambassador traveling back to Paris, on the same ship as us. It was this boat. I treasure this prospectus, a precious memory. The Countess was attracted by the shouting of the manager when he discovered me. Discovered you? They did not want me to be a part of the troupe that was to perform in Europe. So, I sneaked onto the ship without being seen. When they discovered me, after several days at sea, it was too late to disembark me. The Countess stood up for me, and I ended up traveling in luxury in her company. Above all, the dearest Countess taught me all the words and all the manners of her tribe. Thank you. Have more than one. Stop, you can't go around on your own, not nowadays. Would you mind if I played with my jump rope while we make conversation? Please do. I love playing with my jump rope, but I'm never allowed to do it. Not during the day, because it doesn't look authentically Kenak. I admire how you managed to get yourself on that boat. It's just that I so wanted to see the world. I have to confess, I also wanted to travel to a country where I wouldn't be rejected for having skin too fair. How come your complexion is different? I never met either of my parents, but one of them was French and the other one was Kenak. True, here they don't tell me that my complexion is too light, but instead they tell me that it's too dark. I don't. Yes, there is a good side to it. You can quickly sort out all of the fools from the others. Sometimes I feel that it would be nice to look just like everyone else. Definitely not. It's because you are different that people want to know you. I accomplished every task that I was given in the Kenak village. I'm not at all mad that it is all over. Does that mean that you are going back to your country? I'm not ready yet. The Parisians have spent several months observing me, and now I think it's only fair that I observe them too. I'm just the person you need. I know all of Paris like the back of my hand. I know a lot of people because, you see, I'm a courier. 
My delivery tricycle can take us anywhere that you would like. Here's the latest news! Another young girl has been abducted! The male masters have struck again! Everything there is to know concerning the news! Some customs of yours are truly strange. This isn't one of our customs. This is all very new and horrible. The police are on high alert. But why would anyone abduct little girls? It is a mystery. In fact, you should never go out alone. I do not believe that I am the kind of girl that they would seek. <laughs> you don't know that. At any rate, in my tricycle, you will be safe. Just look at this beauty. It even has a cushion. Of course, there are more luxurious vehicles, but they cannot go where my tricycle goes. It will be marvelous. And it is by meeting a lot of people and asking them a lot of questions that we will unravel the mystery of the male masters and we will set free all of those girls. It's a deal. But not right now. I have to go into town. Where? I'll take you there. Not this time, because my carriage is here. Hello, Mr. Leon. Young lady. Allow me to introduce you to Aurel. He is a courier. Young man. Could we possibly meet tomorrow? One in the afternoon at this address? Yes. Goodbye, Aurel. Don't bother. The Countess is not in. Ah, the Countess. Thank you, sir, but I'm visiting with her guest. Hello, young man. I'm sorry, but the Countess isn't in today. Oh, take care, dear lady. Let's go! Let's go? Where to? We are going to Paris. <laughs> Paris is finished. You should let it die in peace. Paris is not finished. We are here. This is Mr. Renault. He's a historian. He knows everything about Palestine in ancient times, but nothing about today's Paris. What are you writing? The names of all the people that I meet. There are so many people in Paris, I could easily forget half of them. How nice this is, being with you in your tricycle on my very first day off in Paris! Nail Masters robbed another jewelry store! No traces of tampering! Yet How another How can we be so mystery. sure that the Mail Masters did it? They always leave a sign, a note that states, the Mail Masters will straighten up Paris. We are the ones who are going to straighten up the Mail Masters. <laughs> Stop, please. I'd like to see the poster. Yes, it is beautiful. A great can can dancer by a great painter. No, underneath. Public talk by Louise Michelle. Human rights, men with women. Who is this, Louise Michelle? She is someone who always says what she thinks is right, no matter what they do to her. She even once participated in a revolution. She was caught and deported for several years to the other side of the earth in New Caledonia. It's Kenna Gland. It's my school teacher. This is amazing, right? My Mrs. Michelle. I want to see her. Let's go to the convention. But that convention will be in two weeks. And I would love to meet your teacher with you. I'm very intrigued. I'll deliver this lemonade and be right back. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello there, son. Hello. Oh, but could it be you? The skip rope virtuoso herself? Oh, of course. I was admiring you yesterday while I was passing by. I was completely amazed with you. I feel so lucky that I get to see you again. I am in need of the opinion of an expert. I am looking to purchase a skip rope for my goddaughter. Look, and there's a toy booth over there. Please help me pick out the perfect skip rope for her, and I will thank you by buying you a toy. You can pick any one. Oh, come here, my sweet little fairy. I can carry you over there. Don't you bother, good sir. I will take her. 
How beautiful! He left. I should have known that the male masters are interested in you. I blame myself. I should have taken you with me instead of leaving you out here alone. I didn't even have time to say anything. Everything just happened so fast. At least now we know. My last mission of the day will be a much nicer one. We are going to pick up an adorable little girl from school and take her home. is Marie Curie's daughter. Marie is from Poland. She married Pierre Curie. It's a wonderful union of two great researchers. Both love and support each other. They were just awarded a very prestigious distinction, the Nobel Prize. Hello, ladies. Hello. Hello, Hello young man. Hello, Eve. Hello, Aurel. This is DeLily, and she will be your traveling companion. I am pleased to make your acquaintance. Hello, DeLily. You are beautiful. Thank you, Eve. It's beautiful. 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 Mommy! My dear Eve. <laughs> this is the Lily. She is beautiful. Your pronunciation is great. Hello, young lady. I am pleased to make your acquaintance. So am I. Aurel, why don't you two come in? I've baked a fresh pie today. Mmm, it's tasty. Mother, this pie has come out even better than the last one. It's because I observe what happens each time. I note everything down and then improve upon what I did. When I grow older, I'm going to be a researcher just like you. No, I will. Irene, there is room for plenty of scientists. Madame, what do you know about the male masters? Nothing. The young girl was abducted in Montmartre in front of the Bateau de Bois. Aurel, you must go to the Batou La Voix. I hope we can finally find some clues at the boat wash house. Are we going down to the water then? No, it's located on the hill of Montmartre. Batou La Voix is the name of a house that hosts artists. You can meet very interesting people there. And they will tell us what they saw. Me? I didn't see a thing. Me neither. Neither did I. I don't even work here. But Picasso, he saw everything. Suzanne speaks truth. They didn't even try to hide what they did. There was nobody in the streets, but I hear it was by the window. A nice automobile stopped near the little girl as she was going up the hill carrying a heavy school bag. A nice-looking gentleman offered to take her home because she looked so tired. Before I had time to scream out, Quédate con nosotros! The young girl was inside of the car and it disappeared, heading over the hilltop at an incredible rate of speed. People said that the automobile was heading towards the old Devil's Mill. The old abandoned Devil's Mill? But nobody's afraid of that place. Yes. But people are saying that it has become an entrance to the male master's domain. Then I'm going there. Me too. Hey, but you shouldn't do that, Pequeñita. You would disappear just like our little neighbor. Stay with us. I will paint your portrait. So will I. So will I. So will I. Shio. I would love to. Your paintings, they amaze me. I want to create just like you. But first, we must find the young girls that have been abducted and stop the male masters. I will come back as soon as it is done. Our Paris tour isn't over just yet. <laughs> this hurts me. You know, I have been hungry too. You haven't told me everything yet. Neither have you. <laughs> Takes time, I guess. Yes. 
Oh, look at this beautiful young lady with such a pretty dress on. Surely she has some coins for me, right? No, I'm very sorry, sir. They give me nice clothes to wear, but they give me no money. Come on, come on. A nice young lady like you surely has something for a poor old man like myself. I only have my dress. I doubt that it fits you. What's that? You're just a filthy girl. Are you laughing at the poor? No, sir, not at all. Please, just let us go past you, sir. We have an urgent errand to run. Hey, come on, Gimpy. Just let them go. They are good kids and they have nothing to give you. Where is this urgent errand you need to get to, neat young man? To the old devil's mill. The old devil's mill? Anyone who goes there either finds death or they give it. Run off with you and don't come back through here. He really scared me, but maybe someday I will be able to do something for these people. Never become like him. That would be a great place to start. Yes. Here it is, the old devil's mill. <sighs> Someone recently repaired the fence and the entrance. You stay here, I'll check around inside. There is no way that I'm staying here alone. First off, I want to look as well. And besides, I'm afraid to stay here after what we have been through today. Okay. <clears throat> Delilly, don't go too far. Did you kill the dog? No. I only kicked him one time. He has died because of rabies, and he infected me. What is that? Rabies? It's a very deadly disease, as you can see. First, you start drooling to excess. Then, you become mean. And then you die. The male masters have found a horrible way to get rid of intruders. But you are not drooling, and you are still nice. Maybe it does not happen instantly. But you're not going to die, are you? There's only one person who can answer that. That's Mr. Bester. But I can't pedal to the Pasture Institute like this. Help me, please! My friend is wounded! He needs to be taken to the Pasture Institute without delay! Please help us! Hurry! He's got the rabies! <laughs> Nobody is going to want to help me now. Wrong. Me! You're way too small to handle my tricycle. You forget that we're up the hill, which means that we have to ride down to the Institute. I don't need to pedal at all. I just need to use the handlebars. I am much stronger than I appear. You don't even know where it is. But you do. You will guide me. Come on, let's see if you can get through. Ready? Yes, and don't take it easy on the brakes. This is a fairly steep slope. Duly noted. You have saved me. It's my turn. <sighs> All right, go right. Move aside, if you please. Oh. Oh. If you please, move aside. Watch out. If you please, move aside. Watch out. I have a better idea. Move aside! I have rabies! Ah! Step aside! I have rabies! <laughs>
The disease doesn't spread immediately. You came to us in time. With this injection and the boosters, you will be cleared. Thank you, Mr. Bastille. You can thank Marie, all my other companions, and all the researchers. Saving people is a very good trade. Mr. Pester, what do you know about the kidnappers? Unfortunately, I know nothing but a rumor. Dubious people often meet at the Gounier farm. They are our clients. Aurel, as it so happens, I was about to ask you to deliver some vaccines to them. They are for the cows, but I guess that you can't peddle right now. I will not let you down. I'll use the waterway, and I'll take advantage of it, and I will watch the suspects from the inside. The beauty. I'm wondering, where is this waterway? Under the streets. After what we just went through, I'm going to take you on a calming cruise. But I still want to meet new people. People who do things. And we shall, along the way. I suppose you're right. There are people everywhere in the city. Yes, but the girls are still missing. The ones that were abducted and those locked up in their homes. It's so sad. Yes, and now I understand why all those men are in mourning. No, no, no. They are always dressed in black. Is there a law saying that men should dress in black? No. You have some strange customs here. Where are we? This is the entrance to the opera stage door. You will meet a great person inside. My good friend, Emma Calve. One of the greatest opera singers in the world. I've already told her about you. This is her automobile and her driver. He's not nice. Don't park that there! It's in my way! I'll take it away. Hello, Mr. LeBuff. I present you with DeLily. I am pleased to make your acquaintance. Why is that girl dressed up like that? LeBuff. I completely understand your reaction, sir. As I have a similar reaction. Your face reminds me irresistibly the face of a great pig. Uh, what do you intend? Would you hurt this small child? You call this a small child? Do you know where Madame Calve is? It's not my job to answer your questions. Uh. Emma must be practicing downstairs. Well? I'm really grateful you didn't think that I looked like a pig as well. Of course I thought so. Everyone looks like a pig here, but one gets used to everything. And now, I take great pleasure in looking upon you. You have sung my new melody to perfection. Now, give me a little bit more time to think about it, though. I am most thankful. Please, accept my highest respects. Here you are, my friends. Tilili, this is Emma Calve. I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. And you just missed the chance to meet Debussy, a young and promising composer. Oh, Aurel, are you hurt? No, no. It's nothing, really. What is inside of the box? A vaccine for cows. For the cows at Granoyer's farm. And I was wondering whether we could go there by a swan. Of course. Let's go breathe some fresh air in the country and say hello to my dear Impressionist friends. Delilly simply must meet them, especially since they know all sorts of things concerning the male masters. Come on, jump in. Hello, my dear honey doll. Or else, sweetheart, are you able to drive? Sure.
me of Jules Verne. You know who Jules Verne is? Of course I do. The Countess has a grand collection, and I've read it all. I want more, although I'm not very fond of Bergson. It does not smell nice. We're in the sewers. It's really convenient when I need to escape from my fans. Plus, I like the change of scenery. Aurel, you look annoyed. I'm not. You are. <sighs> LaBeouf was very rude to DeLilly. I don't even dare ask in what way. I'm ashamed. That is life. That is life, but wounds to the soul tend to add up. Oh, my poor little pumpkin. Come here, I will give you a hug. What is a, a hug? You come here on my lap, I squeeze you in my arms, and you do the same. And then we stay like that. What's wrong? No one has ever taught me this process before. It's excellent. Yes, your friend has a beautiful voice. He will enchant people. What kind of monster is that? What about you? Could you sing us one of your favorite songs? Yes. It's the sun and the rain. Wait, that song is from here. It's a song that Mrs. Michelle taught us. It's now my song. The night and the day, the flowers and fruits. He and he, she and she, she and he. I am pleased to make your acquaintance. Nice meeting you two. You fit so nicely in the scenery. And your colors are so beautiful. Why, you are not painting the same thing at all. Not this time. Monet is all about colors. While Renoir only thinks about happiness. There is no more happiness. Not when young girls have been abducted. What do you know about the male masters? I have had the honor to have La Goulou as a model. And she told me that the Moulin Rouge has become a sort of hideout for the male masters. The cow vaccines were successfully delivered, and I... Look at that! I just saw that submarine at the farm. It's full of provisions. Not only that, there were men who were wearing nose rings. They don't speak, but they pay it lavishly. Seems as if we keep bumping into male masters. I intend to see more of them tonight. I am going to the Moulin Rouge! Me too. But you two are too young. They'll never let you in the door. I know my way in. There's a watchman at the front door, but not at the stage entrance. He never thinks of coming backstage. He wouldn't be welcome here. My dearest Aurel, who is this with you? De Lily. She is from Kaneki. Madame, I am pleased to make your acquaintance. You can call me Colette, you little nectarine. What are you doing? I'm removing my makeup after having performed an Egyptian pantomime. It was written by a lady friend. I show my body a little bit during the dance, because it's beautiful. It is very nice of you. It's an interesting activity. I used to write novels, but they were all in my husband's name. I won't do that any longer. I intend to go back to writing. Excellent. I write a bit myself. So many things happened to me. I am eager to see you published. Have you noticed any accomplices of the male masters around? Not in here. People we don't know wouldn't dare to come backstage. However, they do meet in the theater, among the audience. And male masters aren't the only ones. Aurel, your friend Toulouse-Lautrec draws at his table, and La Goulou dances! <laughs> Mr. 
Mr. de Toulouse-Lautrec. It is a real pleasure watching you draw. I wish I could draw like you. Do it. You draw, and don't ever stop. I've been roaming around. I haven't seen anything. There. I have your suspect. Take a look at this man from your right. I know everyone in here. And I'm telling you, this guy didn't come here to watch Le Boulou. It doesn't stop him ogling her. But he's here to meet someone. The two glasses on the table. Dear Lily, do you think you can sneak over there and listen to what they say? Uh, the male masters will mend. Pretty Paris, putrid Paris. In half an hour, the district head will be at the Irish American bar. There he will fill you in and give you instructions concerning the next jewelry robbery. Well, she is enjoying an excellent show. Which wasn't designed for children to see. What do you mean children can't see? I can see that these ladies are beautiful and dance perfectly well. Oh, come on! Who brought this little girl in here with them? I've been on my own for a long time. It's incredible! At a time where little girls are being abducted each day! <clears throat> we will keep a close eye on her. This place is too noisy for me anyway. Let's go to the Irish American bar. Great idea. They have the best cocktails. Let's head to the Irish American bar. Let me see. My, my young lady, you are quite talented. The track. I'm glad to run into you. I went to Durand Wells. I saw your creations. They have personality. Good work. Your talent is admirable. Good evening. Who's that? He is a painter, Degas. Well, apart from Degas' magnificent paintings of ballet dancers, he's famous for being rude to people. Degas just paid me a compliment. Me! Poor little Latrec! I'm about to die of happiness! You are among the greatest, Henri. It's no news to us. But there still isn't any handsome cab approaching, and it's raining on top of that. Shh, it's all right. It won't last. It's only creating atmosphere. I'm afraid we're going without you. It will only take us two minutes. Mr. de toulouse I could make some space for you. De Lily. <laughs> yes. I have never been in a delivery tricycle. Henri, you're not doing it, are you? Do you have enough space? Yes, I'm actually quite comfortable. I've never had a chance to see the scenery like this. We will not be taking the stairs this time. What? You really went down the stairs with this? Yes, and I will tell you that it hurt our bottoms. I want to do that as well. Let's go down the stairs! But, Mr. Latrec, I can't do that to you. <laughs> that was unforgettable. What an incredible descent. De Lily, I'm very surprised that you happen to know that song. It was the favorite one of Madame Michelle. Good evening, Hello, everyone. Hello, Randolph. Evening, this is my little friend, De Lily. She is a princess from the other end of the earth. Randolph is the best barman in Paris. I am pleased to make your acquaintance. What will it be for you, your highness? I would like an almond syrup, if you please. And some cognac for me before we get to the cocktails. I received some incredible compliments I'd like to drink to. Chocolat, how are you? Hello, sir. 
Hello, princess. I am pleased to make your acquaintance. What is your profession? I work in a circus. People kick my bottom, and it makes the audience happy. Chocolat is a great artist. He makes people laugh. What a trade. He also dances for fun. And I try to keep up with him. <gasps> Look over there, you two. He is one of the conspirators. I've seen him prowling around Emma Calvé's car before. So have I. We're after some male master conspirators. That man there is one of them, waiting for another. De Lily must hear what they're about to say. Easy. The villain is using the flower pot as a cover to hide behind, as always. I will help Delilly hide inside the flower pot. Sati, do you mind playing a song? Will it be, gentlemen? An absinthe, a glass of Bordeaux. Right away, gentlemen. The male masters will mend. Pretty Paris, putrid Paris. This is an official letter. It will grant you access to the jewelry store. The most precious gemstones will be taken out of the safe because Sarah Bernhardt is their very best client. This Wednesday will be unique. You will be able to harvest everything thanks to a secret weapon. You will get out nice and calm. A buggy with a very fast horse will be waiting for you outside on Tuesday at 5. It will be behind the gate of hell. <laughs> We'll go to the police. They'll arrest them in no time. It will be our first victory against the male masters. We're making progress. What do you want me to do with all these stories about Sarah Bernard, secret weapons, and even the gate of hell? It is your job, sir, and not ours. <gasps> Get out. Take them out now. If you come back, I'll place you in jail. If the police doesn't want to act, the next best thing is to inform the lady herself. Her image is everywhere. Yes, and this is another one of Alphonse Mucha's wonderful posters. But I can't get to Sarah Bernard. Isn't she in Paris? Yes, yeah, she is. She just came back from an international tour in the Americas. But I cannot reach that goddess just yet. But you might know some other people who know her. Of course I do. We are on our way to meet Marcel Proust. What does he do? Nothing. He would like to be a writer. He says he lives, he observes, and he will use it all when time has passed. Anyway, he's in all the salons and he knows the great Sarah. When I grow up, I will be a great actress. <laughs> Your dream job changes often. I am not changing jobs. I will do them all. And my search is not yet completed. And I am not the only one. You would like to keep pedaling through Paris, become a singer and dancer too. <laughs> You're right there. 
And I have been saving my money so that I can study law. Injustice outrages me. And justice interests me. Hello, Mrs. Celeste. Such charm. Yes, that is the proper term. Hello, my dear Aurel. Hello, Mr. Proust. Delilly, who comes from Kaneki, is visiting Paris. I welcome you, young lady. My name is Marcel, and this is my wonderful musician friend, Reynaldo Anne. I am pleased to make your acquaintance. Aurel, have you brought me any peaches from the Ritz? No, I'm bringing information. We have discovered that the male masters are plotting against Sarah Bernard and her jewelry. What's, What's that? that? And the police do not believe us. We do. I have to admit, it is hard to believe that there would be a secret weapon behind the Gate of Hell. No, the Gate of Hell is actually a great sculpture by Rodin. Tell us everything. I'll call Sarah and tell her to stay home. With Sarah Bernard, we failed. That is typical of Sarah Bernard. Danger or not, she'll be there. Her motto is all the same. But now we know what the Gate of Hell is. Hopefully we can get there before the thief does. Mr. Rodin, I am pleased to make your acquaintance. No, I am the one flattered by your visit, dear young people who are interested in my work. While you take a look around, let me get going with my Balzac. The noble Zola ordered this one. He is another great writer and a heroic citizen. Captivated. Of all your sculptures, my favorite is this one. Uh, I'm glad to hear this. But that one is not mine. A colleague I loved did that one. Camille Claudel. I am pleased to make your acquaintance. It must be really nice to be a sculptress. It is. Oh, we forgot what we were looking for. Where can we find the gate of hell? In the garden. I will catch him! But it's not possible. It's D-Day. Aurel, what are you doing? Beautiful child. Hello, good sir. I wish you a very nice walk. <laughs> a beautiful and well-raised child. It's most uncommon. <laughs> oh! uh, 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 uh. Don't be scared. I am okay. Uh, my cane is broken, but I am fine. I just need a hand to get back on my feet. Please help me, child. What are you doing, little girl? What have you done with all the girls you abducted? What now? What are you talking about? I'm just a poor old man. I only need a little help. Oh, you poor old man. 
I will carry you on my tricycle. To the police. They will know how to deal with you. You got a little too close, but you realized it quickly. It was rather easy. He was wearing the nose ring. Don't judge only by that. It was so silly of me to wait for you outside. But despite another upsetting moment, we are making a lot of progress. The male masters haven't managed to capture me, and we are going to catch two of them. This is the jewelry store. to visit her at the theater. Your turn. Shouldn't play in the middle of the street, silly girl. Learn to behave, you rude little brat. I would teach you manners, but I need to stay at my station. Jump rope back, gentlemen. Go and play elsewhere. This is no place for a girl. No place for a girl? This young girl has just captured two male masters. Something you were never able to do yourselves. What's that you say? You two should go away now, or I'm putting you in jail with those two. Mr. Officer, I witnessed the whole scene, and I would advise you to give this brave girl's jump rope back. This is for you, little one. Bravo, a job well done. Thank you. Young man. Let me congratulate you on your swiftness and ability to unharness a horse without unnecessary movements and in complete silence. And you, young lady, on your jump rope abilities. Brilliant! What is your name, please? Delilly. And yours? Edward. Sorry? Edward. I am pleased to make your acquaintance. What do you do? Not much, to be honest. How do you make a living? My mother sends me money. What is her job? She is a queen. Oh, no. Don't tell me tales. I know that there are no more queens. It is not in France, but in Great Britain. You really do not do anything with your time? I live. I enjoy living in a beautiful capital city, the different amusements it offers, and meeting the most interesting people, just like right now. I'm an observer, and I hope it leads to something more someday. Like Marcel. Oh, really? My dream is to bring various different people to an understanding that would be cordial. I completely support you. I'm glad that you do. It's the Prince of Wales. He'll be England's next king. Your Excellency, word has it that you witnessed the whole scene. Is it true that everyone in the shop was sleeping? Were you with Sarah Bernard? I am afraid that I have to go. I'm on some urgent errands for a lady. But... This young person here will answer your questions better than I can. 
I wish you good day. You, you understand the language here? The male masters are defeated for the first time by a Kanak girl named Dilly stopped Nadini. a huge robbery from Everything Kern. Sarah Bernard had a huge robbery gas stopped and by Dilly Law. Everything in colored a pictures in the Petit Journal. <laughs> Dilily, you have become the most famous girl in all of Paris, but also the most wanted person by the male masters. We need to find a way to protect you. You're too vulnerable riding around in the tricycle. I have too many errands to run this morning anyway. From now on, Dilily, you will be traveling around in my automobile. Le Buff will take you home and he will bring you back here later. He might not be the nicest person ever, but his stature is discouraging. But I so loved being in Aurel's tricycle. Her picture is everywhere. Her picture is in my paper. That little girl is famous now. When will the male masters put an end to this scandal? Quite soon. Making such a big deal out of this creature, or their pretended great Sarah, or your mistress. Huh, that word, mistress, it's an outraging word on its own. She is the one who should be your driver and wait for your orders. Oh, sure, but she would never be able to drive an automobile. <laughs> of course not. And you know what the worst part is? That Calve has decided it should be my job to drive this brat around in order to protect her from the male masters. <laughs> the idea is amusing. See, I've been watching you closely, and I can tell that you are a male master. Oh? I happen to be a member of the fellowship that will bring order back to Paris. Note that we are already ruling all of Paris's underground. The quarries, the catacombs, the sewers. It's really easy for us to appear or disappear from anywhere. And more and more people, some of them quite powerful, have joined our brotherhood and our mission. It is now your turn to join. You will become generous, rich, powerful with us. In order to join our ranks and become a real male master, you only need to deliver the lily. You will know everything once you join us. This is the delivery address. Sound the horn three times. I've sent two bodyguards to your place. They will protect you against the male masters. I have talked to your governess, who is waiting. LaBeouf, I'm entrusting you with our little star. Goodbye, sweetie. Have fun reading and jumping rope to Lily. Goodbye, Emma. Goodbye, Aurel. That lip buff is exasperating. I've been waiting for hours. What is he doing? It's midnight. No one. Hello? Madame Calvé, this is Aurel speaking. I was into Lily's neighborhood, and I came by to say hello and to visit with her. She isn't here. The buff never brought her back here. Where does he live? Right, I'm off! There's no one! The buff didn't come back! What should we do? Do you hear that? What happened to you? Where have you been? Where is the lily? They can hear us from out here. Let's go to the lake. I warn you, it's ugly. A man came to me saying he was a male master, and he said I had what it takes to be a powerful male master myself. I only had to give them the girl de Lily, and then you entrusted me with the little girl. La Buff, I'm entrusting you with our little star. Goodbye, sweetie. Have fun reading the jumping rope to Lily. Goodbye, Emma. path. 
Shut up, girl. If anyone here knows the way to go, it's me. Congratulations, Lipoff. You have passed your test. You're one of us now. You're about to meet the great mail master in person. Go down this ramp. Follow me. The mail masters will mend. Pretty Paris, putrid Paris. Congratulate you, new brother. You proved to be a real male master. Nothing will be hidden from you anymore. Have a seat. I will answer all your questions. Master, why do we kidnap little girls? In order to save the world. Uh, in Paris, the natural law has been flouted by women who have taken power. We need to fix our Paris before this abomination spreads through the rest of the world. Well, they don't have that much power yet. Universities have granted access to women. There are no more limits. And my poor friend, your own boss is a woman. Uh, that is true. All of these females have implemented a devilish invention, the Salon. They invite in whoever they like. They make people meet however they please. They even help whomever they like. It's true. So, there are no women here. What do you mean, no women? You are sitting on one. S-260, a foreleg must never look at a man. Yes. The right term isn't woman. They are four legs. Why did you get up? Is she not comfortable enough? Would you like to have another four leg? No, no. Uh, I can't stay seated for a long time. I need to straighten my legs often. You young people. I can't even walk anymore. I need four four legs to support my seats. Actually, there are never enough four legs. They are all so slow. If they walk on all fours, they can't go as fast as they normally would. Normally? My poor novice. Four legs normally walk on all fours. This is why they are called four legs. Anyway, they are so dumb. We always need more four legs. First, we abducted some of your grown up four legs. Ah, but they had been perverted for too long. We had too much difficulty in making them submit. I see. That is why you abduct little girls. They are more docile and tameable. You understand quickly, new male master. 
We are about to abduct every young girl in Paris, and then educate them in our school. We only teach them what they should know. As a good poor leg, we will someday replace all of your perverted poor legs. And there will be order in Paris! The meeting ended there. They say they will give me a nose ring once I have delivered them a second girl. But... Why tell us all of these... horrible things? Because no one will ever put a ring inside my nose! What happened opened my eyes. It was too much, even for me. Yes, it is horrible. And yes, I'm an idiot and a criminal. But starting at this, I will do anything to save DeLily, and the other girls, and the women, and prevent those men from harming others. They just harm everyone, everyone including themselves. Madame Calave, I want to congratulate you on singing so beautifully and dressing so nicely. It brings happiness to people. LeBuff, in the course of one minute, you have made me live through the two biggest stupefactions ever. I will search for clues in the sewers. Ah, Mr. Shaw. Hello, Aurel. What are you doing? We have just learned that the abducted girls are somewhere down here in the sewers. I'm looking for clues. That's what I thought. I've been picking up these little pieces of paper that float from time to time. There are names written on them. It must be some kind of secret code. I will give them to you. I hope that these can help you find all the girls. Toulouse-Lautrec, Madame Curie, Picasso, Pasteur, Debussy, Monet, Colette, Degas, Sarah Bernard, Proust. She's leaving pages from her notebook behind. I have to go. Go to the left! Yes, thank you! Which way do I go now? Indistinguishable creatures. Stop right there! I can see a zero four leg with no hand shoes on her right hand. I have been looking for it everywhere, but in vain. How am I supposed to see a tiny little black glove in all this darkness and straw? A zero four leg must never answer back to me. They have picked the wrong girl. You will not last long here. Go find it and be quick about it! On your forelegs! On your forelegs! Do something like that again, and I will throw you deep into the sewers. Well, what are you waiting for? What? 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 You cannot imprison the sewage. I am leaving with it. What? She's escaping! Oh. oh. No, no. She will drown in that. We will recover her clothes and give them to another Zero Four leg who deserves them. 
The gates will stop her body from floating too far away. Oh, I had not foreseen this gate. Lebuff, have you come to capture me and take me back? No, that is all over. I'm here to liberate you. Alas, I am still truly trapped. No, you have won. The head has passed through, the rest will follow. The buff, pull on her arms. Delily, turn on your side. men over there cry let it all out poor sweetheart we saw what they were doing to you did you see me walking on all fours then yes oh no i will die of utter shame no you are not going to die of shame we saw them humiliate you and we all suffered with you we saw you being a heroine and we were so proud of you and our hearts were beating strong for you all along. I think it would be wise to get out of here as soon as possible. Aurel, room 13. Labaf, room 14. And you are to stay there. You now need to hide from the male masters. They will soon understand that you are no longer on their side. Yeah. The costumer will bring you some clean clothes. I will take care of Delilah. <laughs> Come in. <laughs> it's the only clean outfit the costumer could find for me. You are a prince. And you are a firework display. And I, what do I look like? You look like a king. Thank you. Do you feel better, little one? I still can't mm. help shaking. Mm -mm. Aurel, do you know how to give someone a hug? Of course. Mm. Poor little girl. You are safe here with us. Forget it all. I don't want to forget it. The others are currently walking around down there on all fours. We know that they train the girls on the sewer side. And then the girls go clean up the men's dirt in the underground city. And at night, they are locked up with the warden in a dormitory. The only opening is in another room, a factory chimney through which you can see the sky. There is no furnace underneath. It must be there only to bring fresh air in. But those girls aren't made of smoke. They can't escape through a tall chimney. Maybe they can, with a long enough rope ladder. What next? Will they fly away? Yes, huh? aboard a large airship. Mr. Santos Dumont could help us with this. Of course, Alberto, the best Brazilian man ever. But, my dear Emma, it's impossible. My little engine barely has enough power to support my own weight. I could try to add a pedal-powered propeller, but 20 girls, I am not strong enough. To pedal? All right. There is no way those young ladies should be released without participating. They will pedal. And I am a pedaling champion. And I always have energy to burn off. And I, have you not seen me dancing the Sagadilla? Oh, we have. And I, all of my hard training with jumping rope has been providentially preparing me to pedal too. All right. <laughs> I suppose I do have a great pedaling crew. But I'd need a huge and light structure in order to take on that many people. And we would need a huge amount a fabric to make a large enough balloon. Draw out the plans. I know someone who can build it. Are you sure? Yes, I have friends all over town. Uh, and where is this factory chimney? I don't know. Mm, should we really be building this airship then? Considering the sewer, we were in the north part of the 19th district. That is where most of the factory chimneys are. But 
Do all of those factory chimneys have a weathercock in the shape of a serpent? Mr. Eiffel currently lives in the highest flat on Earth. I would do anything to save all of those girls and to lock up the male masters. A new metal, aluminum, will work wonders. Mr. Eiffel, I am amazed by what you have constructed here. Do you think that I will be able to build such a high building when I grow up? Why, sure. Even higher, too. My lady, Berlin on the line. Thank you, my friend. Hallo? Guten Tag, Fräulein. Verbinden Sie mich mit dem Büro von Herrn Graf von Zeppelin, bitte. Madame Calvé speaks a foreign language very well. Yes, she's studying German. She would like to be able to sing Wagner. She admires him. And she's close friends with the Count von Zeppelin, who builds huge aircrafts. Ferdinand, what a pleasure. Very well, thank you. Well, not yet. It's about saving little girls and our civilization. I didn't expect any less from you. I'm in urgent need of fabric in order to build a structure of 10,000 cubic meters. Mr. Scandal! The two male masters captured by the young Kanak have escaped! That's incredible! How do the male masters achieve all of this? Where I have finally found out. I'm taking go. you there. No one understands how they escaped. Where is the little Kanak? Girl, we need her now. Kanak, Kanak. When I was in Kanaki, people called me French, as if I had no Kanak blood. In France, people call me Kanak, as if I had no French blood. I want both. Or better, leave me alone. I live near the police commissioner. This is his home. Nice building. Opposite, there's a building with a blind wall. No one can see inside the commissioners. It's here. Where are you taking us? To my room, and then even higher. <sighs> We're gonna see what no one else sees. This is my nest. Poor boy, it's not very big. It's my home, I feel good here. And I have a nice view, come on. Hold my hand. I would not want you to fall off. Here we are. What you will see next is really ugly. We are above the commissioner's living room. Well, it's really ill-decorated, but why is that of any importance? A four-leg! They are seated on women! The police commissioner 
and his associates are part of the sect of the male masters. Which means the authorities won't be of any help. What we should do is bring together Sarah Bernard, Louise Michelle, and Madame Curie. They will come up with some ideas. <laughs> it's a nice thought to Lily, but alas, some stars never cross each other's paths. My dear Sarah, Lily sure knows how to convince people. It was enough for this young heroine to ask me. And how could I pass this opportunity to meet two other of my favorite heroines? Marie Curie and Louise Michelle. Happiness strikes me from all sides. Finding my adorable pupil from the other end of the world. Reconnecting with Sarah Bernard. So much talent and acts I will never forget. And to meet the Madame Curie, Marie Skodowska. How wonderful. And how encouraging your existence is. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Louise Michel. I don't know how useful I may be in a council of war, but no human being could turn down such an invitation. I came to Paris to study since women aren't allowed in universities in my country. We must not allow things to go backwards. Imagine men trying to force my sweet young daughters to walk around on all fours. Your daughters, and you as well. And the police are with the bad guys. Not all of them. Of course, many of them do a necessary job well, but... Your cats are very big here. No, watch out! <laughs> it's only Justinia, my cheetah. If the police can't help, the army will. The army? Those bunch of bloodthirsty idiots who only know how to blame and kill innocent and defenseless people? It is not the army, but some of the generals. And some officers did not follow suit. Indeed. The lieutenant colonel, who was a key character in the case, was fortunately reinstated. Sometimes and I do not understand a single thing. Let's leave it for later. When the time comes, the lieutenant colonel often goes to Vienna at Alma and Gustav Mahler's, since he is a music The perfect lover. man. Well, the army's tyrant will be in London, thanks to Emma Calvé and Queen Victoria, which gives free reign to the lieutenant colonel. He and his soldiers will work wonders. The male masters will lose the battle. It won't work. The lieutenant colonel cannot embark on such an operation by himself. He needs to receive orders. Then let the president of the republic give him the order. Of course. No half measure here. I will ask the president over. He can never turn me down. And I will explain it all. The problem is solved. We are just enjoying a hug. We will not wait until this operation is all set up to free our little prisoners. In two weeks, they will fly away with us. It is time. Santos Dumont and his workers have just achieved a tour de force. He must be on the roof already. Here we are. What's with that outfit you're wearing? This outfit? Well, it is no ball gown. Just because you are about to risk your life doesn't mean you should be poorly dressed. My dear Paul, please set the situation straight. Besides, you need to impress the girls in order to lead them, and you will meet their parents, if all goes well. Do you know Paul Poiret? No, I suppose not. He works for other customers, but not for long. I am pleased to make your acquaintance. You can't write while I'm dressing you up. I'm writing down your name. I see. Here you are. 
so nice. Put this in your pocket. You can put it in your hair after your victory. Now that she's tied up all nice and tight, I'd gladly throw her in the sewers as she was threatening all of the others. Buff. Don't worry. I only wanted to say it, not do it. <sighs> Poor woman. Get up, all of you. Get up, girls. We are leaving. We're escaping. We are going back to Mom and Dad. Quickly run to the chimney. <laughs> run on two feet. Never again on all fours. Go on. They expect you at the exit. It's your turn. Come on. Quick, hurry. They're coming. Hello, sweetie. Come. Have a seat. Good evening, Mia Picurusha. This way. Have a seat. Hello, my little flower. Your seat is ready. Climb up. Go. Hurry! Hello, meu presentinho do céu. Take my hand. Hello, my little princess. This way. Hello, meu docinho de coco. Follow me. Hello, little star. What's going on? What's happening? What are the girls doing this time? Stay outside! What? <laughs> It's the sun and the rain, the night and the day, the flowers and fruits, he and he, she and she, she and he. You and me, they and we, those from near and from far. If you're dark or rosy, Eiffel Tower's diners are about to be flabbergasted. And your parents will be delighted they're all waiting for you. And I will sing for you. Girls who have been ill-treated. Girls who are coming back to us. Santos Dumont, of course. Oh, it's Emma 
Calvay. And her nice little friend as well. Yes, and the little dark one. That is a real small friend. That's right! It's Delilly! And all of the other rescued girls! Champagne. Oh, how wonderful! The little girls are back. The world has become whole again. Greatest impresario in Paris. Do this for me every night, and your fortune will be made. <laughs> my dear sir, it's been a long time since my fortune was made. There are events that only occur once, but will live forever. It was Delilly. She's the one who freed us. She managed to escape, but she came back to free us. Delilly is brave. Delilly is generous. Delilly, thank you. Thank you, Delilly. But thank it wasn't you, alone. Delilly. Delilly. No, you're not alone. Delilly? No, you're not alone. Delilly? No, you are not alone. Sometimes life turns out to be perfectly satisfying. And it is only the beginning. You are wondering, and what about the male master sect? All right. The lieutenant colonel worked wonders. All of those villainous men were arrested. The women were rescued, and they learned how to walk on their two legs. Some even learned how to dance. Some older ladies didn't want to walk if not done on all fours. I conceded them a wing of my castle in Languedoc. At least there's fresh air and a wonderful view. LaBeouf found the same woman that he had seen in the underground city and made her forget all the evil things that those men did to her. And our little prisoners? They can meet whoever they like. They can go to schools that elevate them instead of having them on all fours. And I give them all colorful dresses for each celebration. It's the sun <laughs> and the rain, the night and the day. You and me, they and we Those from near and from far If your door 
Yeah. 